Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage Base Camp Tutorials. In our last episode, we used the measure tool to get a rough idea of how uh, far we would have to travel to do this little detour through the Wachita National Forest. Well, when we click off this tool, I'm going to click the little pointer tool up here, our measuring goes away because it's really just a temporary tool to get an idea of what we're going to do. Now we actually want to create a route uh, or modify our route to include this little detour through the Wichita National Forest. Now the way I'm going to do that is by using the Waypoint tool up here. And I'm simply going to come down here on my map and I'm going to click where I want to place a waypoint. Now I'm going to place a waypoint to begin with above this Highway 270. And let me show you why I'm going to do that. If I put the waypoint here, it, let's say down here on Highway 27 south of 270, when I add that waypoint to our route to modify the route, and let me zoom the map back out so you can see the result. Base Camp is going to just put us right on the Highway 270 to get us to Hot Springs because it doesn't know we want to continue on this little scenic tour. It just assumes we want to get from here to the hotel at Hot Springs. So to avoid that problem, let's delete this waypoint. And I'm going to delete it over here in my list as well. Now, as I mentioned before, you're going to get the map kind of zooming in and out when you do some of these things. So you have to go back here and get where you want to be, so to speak. So let's see if we can use our waypoint tool to get base camp to kind of behave more the way we want and help us to create the route that we want to create. To do this, I'm going to place my first waypoint up here just after Danville. Now let me zoom in on this area right here. I want to get a good close look at this. And I'm going to get my waypoint creation tool. And I'm going to drop a little waypoint right here by clicking on this Highway 10. Now they call it 8th Street because when you're in that town, they must refer to Highway 10 as 8th Street. But you'll notice it created a waypoint, placed a little blue flag, which is okay. I'm okay with the blue flag. And it gives you the address. Now I could rename this. I could rename this Wachita. Uh, I hope I'm spelling that right. Wachita 1. And that would just tell me that's my first waypoint going through the Wachita forest. But you can name it anything you want or you can just leave it as the address. Now if we drag that Wachita 1 up here to just after the Fina Idabel, it will create a route for us. And let's zoom out and see what we have. Well, after we zoom out, we can see that Basecamp did in fact create a route for us to our Wachita One Waypoint. However, it didn't start where we wanted to. It started over here in Cove, Arkansas. And we wanted it to start down here in Glenwood. We wanted to actually stay on Highway 70 all the way to Glenwood and then go north. So how do we fix this? Well, the way we do it is by adding another waypoint in between or below Wachita 1 waypoint. So I'm actually going to rename this waypoint because this is not going to be our first waypoint. It's actually going to be our second waypoint. So I'm going to rename this Wachita 2. And we're going to add another waypoint using our waypoint tool down here just above Mount Ida. That will keep it from throwing us onto Highway 270 and doing weird things. So let's just, actually we can just put it right up here. And I'm going to rename this Wachita 1. Just for grins. And now let's add that waypoint above the Wachita 2 waypoint in our route and see what happens. Okay, now we're looking a little better. Let me zoom out one click and you'll see that Basecamp is now keeping us on Highway 70 all the way to Glenwood and then north to our Wachita 1 waypoint and then all the way to Danville, which is Wachita 2. 
and then back down our nice curvy road until we get back to Hot Springs. So now we've effectively used our waypoint tool to create a little detour through the Wachita National Forest. And you can use waypoints like this to shape routes any way you want so that you know the GPS is going to take you where you want to go. If we go back and look at our route summary now, we can see that we're going to be arriving at the Holiday Inn Express Hot Springs at 2.30 in the afternoon. That's perfect. Now I've got my day of riding set. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did. And take a second to click the little subscribe button down below. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.